Hi everyone, hope you're doing well from wherever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, two days ago, Eli Komondi was along Langata Road trying to distribute uh, food, that is Unga, to the needy people within the town. And um, one of our viewers, of course a subscriber and a strong supporter of this channel, shared a link to me of that video and I won't mention the person because of the privacy uh, she deserves. Of course she don't want to be mentioned anywhere. She, I, I got to know what was going on. It was two days ago. And uh, if you try to check on what Eric Omonde is doing, you would take it like a comedy and uh, yes indeed it could be comedy because Eric Omonde is a comedian but again above all in the same comedy Omondi has a strong message to the government and the people of the Republic of Kenya. <laughs> you can make a, a, a post a journal, Kwamba tax ju, mafuta ju, maisha ju. This happened to Tuko. Kila kitu iko ju. So in as much as Komondi would want to do his activity, he will, it will always come in with a drama. Just like the same way he went to, to Parliament, he blocked the road to Parliament. The cars could not go. So he stage managed that protest, trying to seek the audience with the National Assembly Speaker, Mr. Maskeo Tangola. Ali Funga Barabara. Na Akawa Palo Komoda. So again, at Langata, the road was blocked. He was distributing food. So in one way, and Eric was trying to do two things. Number one, stage a protest. Number two, distribute food. You protest, you bring the town or the city to a standstill. Magari Simame Bile Malema would always say that the country will be brought to a standstill. So Eric Omondi in his small way was trying to do it. So he blocked the road and distributed the food, caused the jam and sent a message to the government. First of all, just to watch what was happening then from where we are going to go deeper to understand what way forward is Eric Omondi looking for in this current economic situation in this country. Ruto, among other fuel. Ruto, among other sky. Ruto, among other tax. Ruto, anafunga watu wa boda. Ruto, anafunga paka mama mboga. Ingekuwa ni kitu moja, ingekuwa ni sawa. Lakini ni kila kitu. Sio stima, sio mafuta, paka chumvi. Skali ni kwa 160 last week. Leo skali ni 240. Hata ayo oxygen mutalipia. Now we are continuing with the panel discussion, but just a quick request for those who are watching and you are not subscribed, please consider subscribing to the return subscribers. I must say thank you so much and again to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much and back to this discussion. Now it is true, after COVID-19, Kenya has been going through economic turbulence. It is yet to stabilize. So with that all, this country needed someone who understand economy. We needed a brain like that one of Mike Buck. Because even when Mike Buck took over power, there was a big mess in this country. Number one, even there was nothing in the treasury. He never came out to complain like what the Shangwa and the Ruto government is trying to do. Even by that time, raising um, a finance through taxes, it wasn't working because there were cartels who were even amassing money. While what was going to score pesos, what was going to find a way to raise pesos? It was not going to be able to pay the taxes. But above all, Kibaki came in and they said free education, and it happened. Iyo academy me ni kwa primary school, 
nimepata kalamu nikapata vitabu kila kitu kitu vingine nilikuwa na dada shule tu ni uniform peke yake na bank nenda wao penzeli unapata kila kitu na wewe unaendelea na masomo nikapita paka high school it was subsidized we were just paying little because i was trying to check the amount people as uh, so they were paying in that very same school before uh, subsidized education uh, uh, it was high but when we joined it was favorable that means affordable so kulikuwa na nafasi na ukawa ya kwamba you can afford to pay that education the market was open tax bracket it was open because kibaki came with economic brain and he had the right people who were advising him on matters to do with the economy again he was ready to listen and take action ruto came to power when the system is fair compared to what was happening when kibaki was taking over office yes 2002 was worse economically compared to 2022 because in terms of taxes it was well you can collect better taxes and you utilize that resources nicely tuko hapa kwa serikali ya ruto ambayo amekuja kwa power and number one, kila kitu ikaanza kupanda juu ndio maana Eric Komoda anasema kwamba tax imepanda juu it is true imepanda na wanataka kupandisha kuliko hapo they were the one to bring it to 16% mafuta fuel imepanda juu that is what is costing everything to go high so gharama ya maisha imefanya nini imepanda juu just the other day the price of sugar has just increased abruptly from nowhere has got to pop 422 kg sugar Really Happened to Tuko so Eric Omondi is sending a message to the government by the fact that he's just trying to share unga when ufunge barabara pale waanza kupeana unga pale is a demonstration is trying to stage and again he has a message to the government you people you are making Kenyans hungry because you are overtaxing them they cannot afford it, to even remain with something in the pocket to buy food unemployment is rampant people don't have jobs kazi kwa wajina kwa vijana ilikuja ikaondolewa sasa sasa hizi wa Kenya hawezi pata hata kazi ya kujimudu kununua chakula they can't so they go for this unga for free and you can see people were so much many sidana kama eric omona alikuwa na ngoma ya kutosha kupea kila mtu pale you will see comedy in what is doing but there's a message to the government and to the people so mtu atajiuliza ah watu walikuwa wamejaa pale walikuwa wanafanya nini tawala wanapita kwa magari oh ni watu wa konjaa wanagaiwa chakula na eric omondi there is comedy part but there is the message part also the same So Omond in his own small way or his own capacity he is sending a coded message to William Ruto. Umefinya wa Kenya hawana kazi ndio maana wako barabara hapa wanakuja chakula ya msaada. If many people are employed they will not go for chakula ya msaada. If the cost of living the price of unga is favorable watu wengi hawawezi enda kusimama pale kwa barabara wanangoja chakula ya msaada kutoka kwa Eric Omond but because it is unaffordable they are there kuchukua chakula ya msaada sasa hizi watu wameleta tax paka kwa mshahara so it means you will go home with barely small amount of money the rest ime gawanya kwa hiyo serikali kwa njia yoyote ile transport ingine hapo eh, house levy imekuja eh, imekuja hapo ingine hapo sasa wanataka kuongeza ushuru kwa rent. Hiyo rent itawekwa kwa nani? Kwa tenant. Tenant ni wewe utalipa hiyo. So Ruto has quit Kenyans. He's milking them dry. That's why they are going for each akula ya msaada wa Eric Omondi. 
we need more rebellion like what Rick Omond is trying to stage. People should come out in your own way and send the message to the government in the manner in which you understand that the government will hear it. So for me, I see something good in what Eric Omond is trying to do. There is also a one thing comedy. Above all, there is a message. Comedian. But comedian brought people to his attention and the hungry, hungry Kenyans were there getting food. Sasa serikali ya roto inataka watu wakae njaa kama kule kwa makenzi wakufe so wabu ya nataka tu shura juu kitu ingine. Lakini Eric Komondi who is nothing in this government knows that we have people who are hungry in this country and they need something. And in a small way he is trying to share what he has with the public. Sasa Eric ako na kili kuliko Ruto ama Eric is more humane than William Ruto. Where is humanity in William Ruto's head or government? If Eric Omon can have that mind that chisi ni wakenya na wakenya wako njaa kama niko na elefu miya tano waja nechukue miya moja ninunue uunga tukawane na wakenya. So huko wameona serikali inafinyilia watu. Shida tumi kwamba serikali inafinyilia watu. If they would make everything affordable, reduce taxes, reduce the appetite to amass more money through taxes, Everything will be affordable in this country.